Hey, this is Mike. Happened to get in a really interesting piece. This is a 2012 Ford Raptor uh, SVT, like an off-road sport type truck, I guess you can say. And I'm not an expert at all on these vehicles, but um, so I'm going to put all the list, all the features in the description. Um, but I'm just going to kind of show you what I see. It has a 6.2 liter. It says Boss on the hood, so I'm assuming it's a Boss engine and uh it really looks uh pretty cool i like the wheels it has a uh, like a like a long distance shocks like off-road type shocks svt shocks on it already it has a backup camera but it also has a camera here in the front as well and uh it's pretty neat you've got these little lights right here that light up I'm going to try to do a maybe a walk around on this uh, at night time so you can see. But it's got the off road tires. But anyway, the color looks cool too. It gives it just an extra sporty look. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up using the key. Make sure it's. There we go. I'm going to unlock it. It's got the leather seats, uh, heated and cooled. It's got a little bit of cloth there in these little strips here. But then you got perforated leather here. And then just regular flat leather, I guess you can call it, on the edge. It's got Raptor embroidered in the seats. Has a sunroof. <clears throat> Has an SVT rubber slush mats in here power seat on the passenger side has a upper end Sony radio now back here I put the seats up so you can see you can see the doors but um see it has like a big cargo mat back here there's your 700 watt amplifier Sony system now you do have these uh, DVD players in the headrest on both sides and um, where you put the DVD in there. I'm not sure if that's an aftermarket thing, but um, they're in there. They don't say Sony on them, but... I'm not sure if they come with it or not, but... Anyways, moving on. Um, you got It's like a big cargo area back here with the seats up. And then the seats that go down and they got the nice same quality as the front as far as and the same look they don't have the embroidery back here though yeah you can see that that shock back here it's pretty neat And it's got a pretty cool decal back here. It says Raptor and really stands out. Gets your attention when you when you look at it and when you see it. So let's see if we got access back here. And we do. This is the aftermarket, like a camper shell, I guess you can call it. Here's the back of the truck. It looks like it's never been used for anything. Now this one has the step. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand, but anyway, this bar comes up and the step comes out and comes down here, and that way you can step up in the in the truck without um, having to jump on the tailgate. It gives you like a boost. Close this back up. Now back here you've got a nice big blue oval, which you don't have in the front, but you do have a backup camera back here. It does have the towing hitch. Let's kind of take a look underneath it too.
here's the back door on this side here's the other angle now you've got a little storage pocket underneath this seat and of course it folds down got plenty of leg room plenty of room that seat in the front's almost if all all the way back if not all the way back and we've got some headphones or remotes for these DVD players there I'm not seeing an armrest on this truck now you do have a um, forgot to mention you've got your AC adapter 150 watts and a 12 volt power supply there this is your keyless entry I guess you can put like a code in there and it opens up you also have your key with you know unlock and unlock the doors and start it up there uh, it says power fold here on the side mirror wonder if they're heated doesn't say I guess not so. I have to put the, uh, the key in there do you have the power seat on this side now these steps they kind of when I first looked at them they look like they were plastic because they got like a rhino lining cover they're actually metal and very sturdy too so since I used a remote start, I still have to put the key in and turn it on. And now the key is trying to adjust me to somebody else's uh, preset. But all right, let's see here. That's how you do the power fold. Folds them in folds them out pretty cool you got automatic headlights and here on the steering wheel we got your cruise control on this side and you your menu system here which I forgot to turn the key all the way on but here's the menu system and um, that controls this menu here now right here it's got it's pretty cool it says SVT there and this is the the front camera is telling you how to ac access that I'm going to kind of scroll through here and so you can see what's in here let's go to information and it's got a system check in there that's pretty cool all right the truck apps um, let's see, let me go back to the truck apps that's where you can turn out the front camera now you have to have it in four-wheel drive low and all that good stuff off-road mode and also you have to be under going under 15 miles per hour in order to access that which I'll go ahead and go ahead and do that just while we're talking about it I'm gonna put it in neutral put it four-wheel drive low put off-road mode on all right okay so now I'm in four-wheel drive low so now I can go ahead and push OK. Let's see here. Press OK to enable. Four drive low. That's on. Okay. All right. Now, now that I'm in uh, drive, it comes on. So there's somebody walking up there. You can see him in the camera. That's the front camera. And it gets, when I turn the steering wheel, you can see that blue line moves it gives me an estimated trajectory of the vehicle when I'm moving forward and that way I guess you can navigate some really serious terrain or something like that but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in neutral and turn all this stuff off but anyway um, let me go ahead and show you the backup camera same thing basically it's just the back of the vehicle and with it this one's pretty cool because it's got a zoom you can like zoom in I didn't I've never seen that before I guess you can zoom right up into onto like a trailer ball or a trailer hitch or something I'm not really sure but that is, there's that and there's your four drive controls it has a trailer brake control which is convenient um, it seems like on a vehicle like this is more for sport and not really towing but maybe I'm wrong but this radio I mean it has 
uh, like navigation and it has this neat little animation here for the music and as HD radio and it's a touch screen here so so pretty cool lots of stuff there and um, we go back to the navigation I'm not really familiar with this system. Let me get a. Uh, there we go. There's your CD player, and it has the heated and cooled seats. So I'm gonna turn the cooled seats on right now for me. And your different climate control settings. It has Microsoft Sync, which gives you a auxiliary input as well as a USB input, and Bluetooth, so you can answer your phone and stuff like that. Power supply up here. You got your auxiliary switches here in case you want to use those. There's your uh, off-road button and downhill descent button. And uh, there's your shifter. Now it does have your side button there um, for, here's your tow and haul button and here's for changing through the gears when you have it in manual mode. Um, cup holders are there. Armrest, you got some cup holders back there. Armrest lifts up and you got like this tray, has like a rubber back bottom to it. And then um, a nice big area there for storage. 12 volt power supply there as well. There's a little cubby hole. Glove compartment, little tiny one. Little itty bitty tiny one for a truck this size. You got your little quick set something down place. Rear view mirror, it's pretty much standard. It might be auto dimming, I'm not sure place to put your sunglasses is there tap lights uh, there's for your uh, controls for your sunroof and you can always close it if you want garage door controls are here you've got a mirror with a light same thing on that side let's see what the what it looks like back there place to set something there too. But you don't want to take off too fast if you set something there. It might fly on you. And I hadn't driven this truck yet, but with the six with the size of the engine it has, it's probably pretty quick. So let's go ahead and open up the hood and look see what kind of engine's in it. Displacement engine powered by four. It's got dual horns there. I don't know if that's a power steering cooler or a transmission cooler. I'm not sure what that is. there you have it um, if you have anything to add to this video because I don't I'm not an expert on this truck so if you have anything to add to miss something or if I got something wrong let me know in the comments and that way everybody can you know learn from it but um, but yeah appreciate you watching and if you have any questions or anything leave them in the comments as well and I'll see you next time